Hello everyone and welcome to a Cinema 4D tutorial. In this tutorial we're gonna be learning how to create the fringe shattering effect from the beginning. I love the show Fringe and I hope you do too, or at least you like the effect. Well, no more proscuration, let's start it. Uh, I'll just type Fringe, all capitals, so you have like that. And here in the nerves panel we have loft nerves, bezier nerves, but I'll use extrude nerves and I'll just drag the test inside the extrude nerves. And now, in this panel, you can see all the options of the extrude nerves. Movement, subdivision, ISO subdivision. This represents X, this represents Y, and this represents Z position. So, right now, I'm just increasing the thickness on the Z position. I could increase too on the Y and on the X. So anyways, uh, we'll just make it like 50 or something, and that's what we have it. I think the font is alright for that. Uh, it's just the default font, uh, true high font, or whatever. Now, I'll create a sky over here in the light symbol, and I'll also create a light. And I'll just position the light over here more or less okay now I have to make the test a little bit darker so we we'll just position the light so most of the text okay that looks okay now we'll click on this symbol again and here we have camera and right now you can't move the camera but if you come here to cameras scene cameras camera you're moving the scene camera, you have it. In this case, this one. And I'll come to animation, auto key. So now whatever movement I do, Cinema 4D will automatically record it. And with the move tool, I'll move the camera over here. And with the rotation tool, I'll rotate the camera. More or less like that. Now I'll come to frame 90. I'll move the camera over here and I'll rotate the camera and I'll do it just so it aligns with the text well alright so that's the movement we have Cool, I think it looks a lot like the show. So now we can actually start the part where the text gets shattered. And we'll just click over here. You have lots of options to transform. Those are the transformers. And if you come to explosion effect and add to the extrude nerves, you'll see nothing happens. However, first, we need to make sure you make this editable and I'll have caps, caps but it won't make a difference you can just apply explosion effect to extra nerves now and that's what you have it kinda cool that's what we're more or less we're looking for so now in the explosion effect you have lots of options and you can do a lot in basic or here but in object you can change the time so, as more as increase time, more particles are going to be falling or shattered. In explosion, you can also increase the strength. I'll just say like 1500. And you have the decay, which is the randomness of particles that are shattering and not shattering. I'll just give that zero. You have also cluster. Kind of make particle a little bit thicker and that's not what we want because it'll alter the font to make the font thicker gravity also um, we're gonna be changing this to like one no not one like three so no maybe that's not a lot of gravity okay let's make this like not zero yeah 
and notice I'm I'm here in frame 30 I shouldn't be doing that so I can just drag the frame to 0 and that will solve it so now okay I'll just increase the blast time too and you know I'll just keep the gravity like it was 9.8 and okay, you can also rotate a little bit. And here we come at frame 60. And we just need to change the time here to zero. And we have the text again. Let's see what we have done. Okay. I like it, I like all the movement, however, I think we should try to make the particles a little bit uh, smaller. And we'll just come to explosion and make this strength. Just come to frame zero again. And in the variation, just vary a little bit. So now I have more particles over here. Maybe some over here too. And some over here. And maybe you can decrease a little bit this trying to. Okay, now I think we have something better. Last tip I can give you. Click here and change to the animator animation panel. And here you can see the extrude thing and the explosion we have those of frames we have created okay but if you drag this to I don't know negative 5 the camera will start recording when the process of sharing has already begun and that will make it better because if you start here for one frame nothing's going to happen and then we start coming together however if you start animation in negative 5 when the animation begins, the particles are already coming together, so it will look more natural. And I think we got it. I think that's it.